Ciao baby! Time Paul here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an upload. If you haven't been following me for a while, you probably want to know that I'm in Italy to be more precise in the south of Italy. Another fact about me is that I can't stand cold. It makes me way too uncomfortable and less productive. And let's be honest, who would be fond of that? Currently, the weather is not the best and I'm really missing summer. Those long, warm, sunny days. So let's indulge into this summer atmosphere today. And by that I mean, why not to have a summer haul? In today's Trials with Tanya, I'll be showing you some summer outfits that I'm going to share with you a summer story that happened to me sometime. A few years ago, my family and I decided to go on a very extreme trekking. Early, super early in the morning. Because mind you, it was the beginning of September, so the temperatures got pretty high during the day. We went to this park close to the sea. It looked pretty simple at the beginning because we were walking down from a small mountain. It was giving me chills because we were surrounded by these little mountains and on the track you could see the stones and some of them were huge. So we were trying to pass the party as fast as possible. So not even in the middle of our tracking, we got really tired. And when we finished the party, then we decided to get closer to the sea. Brilliant and absolutely not scary idea. Keep in mind it was around 5 a.m. So when I said early morning, it was super deep early. We went down the hill basically sitting holding the flashlights. And as if it wasn't enough, we decided to reach a spot that was far, far away. So it was time to climb some rocks. Yay! <laughs> was I excited? Absolutely not. At some point in the middle of climbing the rocks, I decided to look down. And what did I see? He'd asked me. Well, I saw the void looking back at me. And talking, of course. <sighs> at first, just the water entering the small case under the tunnel. The noise it makes when it does that is dreadfully thrilling. So I was like, nope, I'm going back. And my family was like, where would you go? And I was like, I'm going back, all the way back there. So, after a short breakdown, I blocked up all the little courage left to me, and yes, I moved on. <laughs> after some time, we made it. Yeah, I, I was fascinated. We decided to take a break and enjoy the fresh air and the gorgeous view in front of us. We didn't even notice how the sun rose. Well, I was of course happy at the beginning because I was feeling a little bit cold. Yeah, it's pretty chilly in the night and it's getting really hot during the day in September. So, around noon, we decided to go back. Perfect time, right? <laughs> it was exhausting. Yeah, you guessed it. The heat, the sun, the track that now looks completely different. 
So after some time, we took again a break, went to some little hill in the shadow. Cause seriously, we wouldn't have made it. We were exhausted. We finished all the water and we were just too tired to continue. We were so happy and totally out of breath when we reached the car. Yes, and it took us a few hours to reach the car. Lovely for us. <laughs> Luckily, we had some water and right away we had it home because we were starving. Oh my gosh. But we did have some protein bars, but that was definitely not enough. Not enough. And you wouldn't believe what happened next. So, my outfit. No one asked me, right? Anyway, what was my outfit? I was wearing leggings. It was an amazing adventure. And the front of the leggings had match parts. So they were basically divided into parts. The match parts lower and just thermal leggings material. Up. Okay. So what happened to me? Hmm. I got sunburn. You'd ask me where. Of course where those match parts were. And all that happened right before our relative's wedding. I had the weirdest tan and my legs looked like grilled chickens. And by the way, the hideous tan lasted for about a year. <sighs> Terrible. Oh, so I had to wear a gorgeous but very, very long dress for the ceremony. It was blue and I believe I shared some pictures some time ago on my Instagram. So, by the way, if you feel like checking out some outfit ideas, I recommend you to check out my Instagram, the Chemical Nava. All the links are mentioned in the description box below, as well as with some other socials of mine, of course. And on my website, thecenapolnava.com, you will be able to discover all my other social media, and on my blog, you will be able to see the most recent updates and just some high quality pictures. Anyway, back to the story. So as I said, during the ceremony I was wearing this beautiful long dress and then I changed and I was wearing white trousers with a black jacket and beautiful Valentina heels. I'll tell you, my outfits were beautiful and stylish, but still, the grilled chicken legs! <sighs> hideous. I'm telling you, they were hideous. Since then, I'm really cautious about the sun. I'm always wearing sunscreen and covering myself, never exposing myself to the direct sunlight, no matter how nice and warm it might feel. I've already mentioned that before, that even when I'm in the car, when I'm driving somewhere or when I'm even like sitting and I'm not driving in the car as a passenger, I would always cover myself, I would wear a shirt even in the summer and I, was, I would always cover my legs in order to avoid to get sunburn. I learned it from this terrible experience of mine. I mean, looking back, it's a funny story and we always talk about it because honestly, when we got back from trekking, we were so excited we got because it was, it was, it was an experience. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. I would never forget that. And by the way, <laughs> we repeated that experience a few times after, but of course I improved my outfit. Yeah, I oh, completely covered myself. And it's also very tricky because September here is not like other Septembers. I mean, like in the north, it's as I said, pretty chilly during the night and it's pretty hot, like not a October hot, but June, July hot during the day, 30 degrees Celsius. 
can be higher. So you go like early in the morning to avoid all the sun. You want to wear something warmer because it's it's really chilly, especially when you're close to the sea. But after that, after a few hours, the sun is gonna come out. It's gonna come and say hello, like hey, and you're gonna get very very hot. Uh, trust me, go and track him. When you're wearing a lot of clothes, it's not the best idea because you're sweating, then you're getting cold, then you're getting hot. So, very interesting experience. But looking back, it was fun. Would I want to repeat it? Mm, probably not. But I think my family would make me go there again. Oh my gosh, let's see how it goes, so I guess. Do you have any funny summary stories? I'm pretty sure I have more to tell you, but this one was one of the not iconic, but the story that made the most impact on my life after. I'm pretty sure I have still the pictures of my gorgeous, I mean, you know, gorgeous <laughs> tan, and that is why I don't like tanning, you know. It's, it's a lot of work and I'm just gonna stick to my skin color. Anyway, I really hope you liked the story and you had at least a laugh at me. And uh, if I'm gonna find the pictures, I will share them with you next time. But yeah, if you have some funny summer stories or any stories that happened to you, feel free to let me know in the comment section. By the way, uh, I'm watching this trend haul. What do you think about the, all these dresses and outfits? Do you like the variety of them? Which one is your favorite? I mean, we still have some views to go, but have you decided? By the way, I really love this dress. I think it's very stylish, very elegant, and perfect for summer. Probably like somewhere in Greece or somewhere, or probably even here where I live. Anyway, thank you for sticking to the end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. Let me know in the comment section which outfit was your favorite and why. Also, do you have any funny summer stories? If you do, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you'd like to see more of my content or you're just willing to say hi to me, feel free to reach out. I'll drop the links as usually in the description box below. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you soon. Bye!